uh, hello friends today in this tutorial i will be showing you that how you can basically add a download button inside your google drive api application so with this button you will be able to download all the files which are stored inside your google drive so this is the first tutorial guys in the playlist of tutorials of google drive api so i will highly recommend that you haven't watched the three tutorials so watch that tutorials first and then come to this tutorial so we have built all this stuff in the previous three tutorials so we will now be adding this functionality of download file so now if i go to the home page here click on sign in with google let me log out first of all and first of all grant the permission so this will be a complete oauth2 kind of application that we have developed this is the fourth tutorial here you need to grant the permission guys so click on continue and this is my google drive here all these files are stored so we will now try to automatically download all the files so if i click search files you will see inside the table all the name of the file mem type and download file this is a button functionality we will be adding in this tutorial specific tutorial you will see that guys these links are clickable if i click this link i will be able to download this image onto my computer this is a video file if i click it it will open this inside a new tab and automatically as the attachment you will be able to download your video so if i play this video here this is my mp4 video which i stored inside my google drive so you can even download image files as well totally depends upon you so this is basically this is a jpg file here you will see that image is downloaded you can see that so if i want to only the pdf files you will see that you can even download the pdf files as well you can see this is the pdf file here so in this way guys you can download any sort of files which are present inside your P uh, google drive so this is the functionality we will be adding in this tutorial so i have given all the source code guys in the description of this video i have written a complete blog post step by step blog post so let me show that blog post to you so if you are following this playlist you will find out my blog post also inside this blog post i have given the link for each serial by serial so if you are want to just uh, move in a serial wise way you need to read all these blog posts first and then come to this and uh, step by step instruction is given here how to basically implement this functionality so now let's get started by building this application so now guys what you need to do is that basically this is my application so first of all i will what i will do is that if i open this application here guys what you find out that basically this uh, doesn't look good i also updated the user interface as well so if i open this with live server you will now see uh, before this application uh, it doesn't include any sort of framework so i just wanted to include bootstrap here so what i will do is that go to bootstrap and simply copy it cdn for the only the css so what you need to do simply after the title paste the css for bootstrap and here we will be adding inside our table guys the third entry which is the download file and also we will be adding for the delete also we will make the delete button inside its own row so now we will have four table rows table columns out there if you refresh your application let me make it as five you can see here let me refresh it let me open once again here open with live server so you will see there are four columns out there download file and delete button now we need to make the modification guys inside our profile.js file and uh, now to download the file guys basically if you go to its uh, documentation of google drive api so we are using essentially this get method guys get method is used to search the files these are all the parameters which are there but there is a special parameter guys which you will not know which is called as web content link so this is a para meter we will use here you can even go to google and type this parameter which is web content link google drive api so basically this contains a very special attribute which with the help of which you can get the url direct download link of a google drive uh, file so every file has a unique link and uh, now what we need to request this so wherever you have built this functionality search files you will get the code and basically here inside your fields here we, we are getting three already id name and name type so you just need to add a comma here and we need to get the fourth one which is called as content link sorry this is web content link web content link 
Okay, so just add this property, right? So now when when we get the response, we will get these four things out there: ID of the file, name of the file, mem type of the file, which is called as extension, and web content link. This will be the direct download URL. So with the help of which we can be able to download the files from the Google Drive. So now we need to <coughs> move here. <coughs> Basically, <coughs> so here we will make a another TD tag here. We will just make a TD tag here. Yeah. So here, guys, we just need to make a TD tag. Just do this table data. And here, guys, we will simply have a anchor tag. So basically, this anchor tag, guys, which will be having. Uh, let me first of all show the response, and then I will add this property. So if you normally run this application now, guys, you will see inside the response. If I hit this button here, inside the console search files. Uh, it is saying that cannot read properties of undefined for each. Let me see. Info dot files. Uh, let me just log out here and once again grant the permission. Let me start from scratch. Sometimes the access token may be expired, so in that case. Uh, you need to explicitly grant the permission click on that so now you can see that guys 49 files are returned to us and basically inside this json response you will see a additional property which will be there which is called as web content link if i zoom this uh, console here guys let me see you will see guys this is the fourth property that we got which is web content link so this is the direct link is there guys of the you can see that this is a direct link is there so if you copy this link here and simply open this right here so just remove these double quotes if you just press this guys you will see it will automatically download your file here it will take some time and it will automatically download you can see that so now we will be simply be programmatically opening this URL from this response so what we can simply do here we can return to us inside profile.chase we will make this td tag here and inside this we will have a simple anchor tag which is a href inside double quotes we will just write here file dot web content link that's it and there we will simply say here we will put a label download followed by the file name which comes from we will insert file dot name that's it and we will open it, open it inside your new tab so target blank underscore blank so this will open this inside a new url that's it and also guys we need to modify this also this is delete file name so just do it so delete followed by the file name that's it so now if you open this here you will see that if i now click it you will see basically now we have got this download button also which is hyperlink here we can click it if i click it here it will take some time it will open it and it will download it as an attachment so it all totally depends upon the file size if the file size is large then it will take a longer time so this is the image you can see that jpg image so in this way guys you can add this button add this download functionality inside your google drive or to application here you can perform all these operations you can even upload a file you can download a file you can search a file you can delete a file all sort of operations you can perform here you can log out here and again you will see this image file is uploaded right now and if i open this now you will see that so it's a totally crud based kind of application guys so in these four tutorials you have learned a lot for from google drive api i will make hopefully make sure that i just uh, continue this playlist and if i explore some more methods i will add videos in this tutorial playlist so just follow this and also if you want the full source code i have given the full source code in the description of this video so please hit that like button subscribe the channel and i will be seeing you in the next video